Hey guys, it's Erica with Sirens Aquatics. Let's imagine that you've treated your tank with antibiotics. You had an issue in your fish and you may have used General Cure or some of the other antibiotics available out there. And then after you followed the directions, dosed a couple times, changed the water, you may have noticed that your water was cloudy. And maybe it reminds you of when you first cycled a tank or first put fish in your tank or plants, etc. And maybe it seems odd to you. But first you need to consider what antibiotics are, how they work, and then you're going to understand why your water is cloudy. The word antibiotic means against life. So, any antibiotic, even when you take something for yourself, it's going to kill the bacteria within your body, good and bad. It works the same way in a fish tank. And since aquariums are supported by different forms of bacteria, you know, you have your nitrifying bacteria, etc. Since it is supported by bacteria, we cycle our tanks. If you add driftwood and you notice it gets cloudy, that means that the bacteria is battling it out to find balance. The same thing is true when you add antibiotics to your tank. You're basically starting over unless you took your media out and kept it in another tank or kept it moist, you have essentially wiped out your cycle because any of the bacteria in the substrate or on porous surfaces is gone. So then you may find yourself with an uncycled tank. This means you need to take some time to research fish in cycles because you need to recycle your tank to establish another healthy colony of bacteria. Now understand that sometimes it's completely necessary to have to dose your tank with antibiotics and just start over. That does happen. Hopefully you keep and maintain a tank to where it's not necessary. And you can do this by quarantining fish, even if they're new or old, whenever they show signs of illness, although by then all the other fish in the tank would need to be quarantined or dosed with antibiotics. That's not really what we're talking about right now. We're just talking about the specific issue with cloudy water after antibiotics. Essentially the best thing to do would be avoid it altogether to have a cycle crash. And you would do this by researching the effects your specific product has on beneficial bacteria. But you should understand that most antibiotics are going to kill your cycle. They're just going to wipe out all the bacteria in your tank because that's what antibiotics do. So before you say, Erica, I can just go to Petco and get bacteria in a bottle or substrate with bacteria in a bag, stop. You need to understand that that bacteria is not going to last long term. You don't know the shelf life or how long it's been on the shelf or if it's the correct kind of bacteria to establish a tank and most likely it's not. That type of bacteria is really good at sneaking dollars out of your wallet without actually assisting you in cycling a tank. The best way to transfer new bacteria into an uncycled tank would be to take media from another tank that you are running. Maybe run it to your new tank, squeeze the filter media, let's say you're using a sponge, that's what I use in every tank, squeeze it over your new media and I would suggest just go buy new sponges. They're just dirty. In conclusion, a cloudy tank after dosing with antibiotics does not mean that you did anything wrong. The antibiotics worked. They killed all the life forms. You essentially just need to do a fish in cycle. If you found our video useful, please hit the subscribe button and then click on the notification button so that you don't miss future videos. Thanks for tuning in. I hope to see you next time.